Alrighty, so week five is upon us, which means we're one week away from our first development. So I'm going to walk through first what you need to do for your week five learn together. And part two of week five learn together will be, of course, talking about Dev 2. So I'll hold off till that until we get there. So last week, right, uh, we learned how through uh, Andrew's course, which great content, I've said this before, I'll say it again, but learning how to make HTTP requests, API calls, same thing, um, learning how to handle those requests, how to do callback, how to understand the callback abstractions, um, how to chain them together, uh, how to do destructuring, and then a bonus one, if you care to check it out, I don't think I required it, which is doing it without a library because we're using requests to make these call, these API calls, these HTTP requests, and then handling it um, with callbacks. But anyway, let's go back over here. So um, last week what I did, and I had you um, just do the first part where you make a, a request through request, the third-party library, to the random user. Now, Andrew's code, I think, you know, is really a little more interesting. But again, the reason I did this was so you didn't have to sign up for another API. Honestly, that was my goal. Um, or another, just sign up to another site. And this one to me was kind of fun. So what you're going to do this week then is, um, and I'll just move over and show you my code real quick. And I'm not going to show you as I've done before the whole thing. So in this case, and this is the style I want you to follow, is I've created a directory called utils. I've placed in there because, again, we're abstracting, not abstracting in this case, just modularizing, pacing in these two files, the code that's going to handle forecast and random user call. Both of them are, re are uh, using request and handling the different situations of error or passing back data. Okay, and then in my app.js, I set up, of course, these two, um, defining them locally, um, that allows me to then use them. So I call random user, right? And then I, again, this is the part I want you to attempt on your on your own. Um, and then if what will come back, so this is what happens after I make the call, the call back, what comes back is an error and the data. If there's an error, I just return, which stops the program at that point. If there's any kind of error on the call, then I just return console logging the error. Otherwise, I then make a call to forecast. Again, that's the file, the code that contains making that forecast call. And again, I use the same um, map box, not map box, but Dart Skies API um, to call. Uh, passing into it what came back off of data, so the lat and the long, and then what came back to me was either an error or the forecast data, okay, and then I outputted that if there was data that came back off the forecast data. So here's the deal, is that the requirement this, this time, and I want you again to attempt this, and I'll just show you what mine does, is mine in my user um, random is when I make the API call, I look at the gender. If it's male, I make the call again. Again, don't take that as a, right? You, and you can use something else, anything that comes back, right? So think about what's coming back to you, right? So my code will read this, in the JSON returned file, what comes back to me. And then based on that, I'll make a call, another call. So I'll call user, random user again, if it is a male. And not until I get a female do I actually make the forecast. Now, the way this works, just to show you the output, right? So it had to call random user, in this case, a couple times. Ah, oh, it found somebody, in this case, a, uh, a user that was female. It gave out um, forecast data, the message that had been returned, right? And then just outputted that using chalk. Now, the, my suggestion is to do this. 
first thing is just get this working where you make a call to rant, you know, whatever you call that um, external JS file that you've done a module, uh, module that export on. So make that work before you start trying to do this last part, okay? Because this part is basically, I'm saying, take what you've learned and take it to the next level. But it's really not that different. There is one small difference um, for in the code. But in general, get these two working first together, okay? And then attempt the part that, you know, again, kicks it up a notch. But I think it's fun to do. I, I, I do think, right, if I run it again, of course, I'm going to get different results because the idea of the random user, this time it only had to call once until I, I got the kind of result that I wanted. And you can do something else. And this is, and I attempted to write this up and I realized it's just easier to show you, right? So, you know, make the, this, we did this last week, right? Evaluate the results, write logic that will determine if you make the random call again, based on your criteria, your code will take the results and make a, a request to a different API. Again, I use forecast. You can totally do that. But if you want to use something else, please do, right? A different API with the results of the first call. And I could have just put forecast here because I think most of you will. Based on this uh, requirement, your code will most likely need to make the call several times. This is what I was just showing. Now, this is a little different too. As normal practice, attempt to complete the code without reviewing mine or other students. If you do review the code to get your code working, that's fine. Make sure you tell us. This is all normal, but here's the additional one. And then add some meaning, meaningful functionality to the code. If you do need it, again, which is fine, you just have to challenge yourself because just looking at it and putting in the code that you're seeing is not gonna help you. Uh, honestly, it's really saying if you do that, no, no worries, learn from it, right? Learn from what the code's doing and then write something more meaningful. Uh, add something to it. I don't really care what it is. I'm not going to specify. You can figure that out. If you want to ask me, please do. Okay. All right. So uh, let's open up. Let me just do this real quick. Open up the, um, and you can do this on yours, Dev Zero. Here's what I decided. You know, I kind of went two ways here. So part one is what I talked about last week. And I hope you are working on this first part, which is doing the CRUD operations, writing to a JSON file, handling that, handling the input through YARGs. Part two of this, because remember, for this first develop dev zero, we've covered both this concept in his notes and uh, his make, you know, the weather calling, um, asking for the city, getting the forecast back, making these multiple API calls, using callbacks. So in this case, you can either do one of two things. You can either um, use callbacks to make an API call, return a value to call another API. So you have two very much almost identical, but I want you to use two different APIs in this case, is write the code that does that. So the other option is just come prepared to discuss the concepts covered in week six, right, to your code review. So in this case, you'll either way, you have to bring this, you got to get this done. But on option two, part two, you have an option. You have an option of either writing it, that'd be great, because and really I'm trying to say pick your challenge here, whichever it is. Or if you don't write code that does this, and again, this these have to be different API calls than we've seen so far, okay? And if you want to talk, please talk to me about this if you're in question about how you're going to do this. But if not, just come prepared, right, for the course, for the content that was in this here. So we'll, what I will do is uh, interview you. You'll have to answer some questions, which you're going to have to do on your other code. But in this case, this is how I will grade that part, okay, is to how well you answer my questions. It just basically flesh out for me, do you, did you walk away with an important understanding? Which I will say, by the way, this API call was one of when I last week, I think on week four, learned together. Um, the idea that um, like 
the five things you can do for your project, for your portfolio. This is actually on that list. Now we don't handle it in the browser. We're gonna see that in a little while, but knowing how to make these API calls, use the return data to make another call um, is an important skill to have. Okay, and I went over this last week. I am uh, developing, I'll just give you a little preview. I'm not publishing it yet. The uh, code review schedule since it's that week. So I'll start having appointments. You can, by the way, schedule before this, the week before if you're ready. But I will start on Monday and have sessions Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to have some flexibility. I'll talk about this just because um, that's the day I work at night. And so I'm trying to do some afternoon, early evening appointments. Right. And then on Thursday, of course, is the bulk of these appointments. I'll have two um, midday and then I'll have four uh, here. And then I'll have three on Friday. Do know the ones on Friday are going to be after the due date. Now, you might want to say why so many because uh, there's a small class. Well, this is also for my 93 class. So uh, I will release this soon. Just know that those students will also be signing up for code reviews. I may have to add some. And that's the other thing is if these times don't work for you, please reach out to me. The sooner I know what your needs are for that week. Again, this is it's, it's due here. Uh, the sooner I know, the better and the more uh, I can work it out. Like if you needed something, if you could work out something during the day on Thursday between 1.30 and 5, totally works for me. Okay. All right. I hope this, um, again, helps you um, extend what you've learned in the Udemy course and prepares you for our first develop project. Okay. Have a good one. Talk to you later.